What's up? What's up? What's up? We're doing it a little differently today. So I am here, back in my hometown. So we're gonna do this live today a little differently. So if you got any questions per se, whatever, any of them, get my car. About guitar or whatever, let's just hop on here, let's answer some questions. everybody's doing well um so when you first come on say where you're from uh because this is a great platform to network you know what i mean so i got some something on my nose crazy but uh yeah so let's answer some questions let's talk answer some stuff about guitars or whatever that's what it's going to do so i figured let me hop on here really quickly and do this with you guys man this is the weather unchanged and it shifted out here i got cold man What's up? What's up? What's up? From South Africa. That's what's good. Yeah. How's everybody doing? On the sip. That's what's up. That's what's up. What's going on? Hope everybody's doing really well. Um, if you got any questions today, is it? the time that I'm going to answer some questions, hop on here for a little bit, answer some questions, some guitar related stuff. So hope everybody's doing well on this Saturday, enjoying themselves. Where are you headed? I'm not headed anywhere. I'm actually at my mom's house. I came in to say what's up to my mom, holler at my mom real quick, you know, check in. Good morning. <laughs> Looking good, man. I appreciate it. I try to take care of myself, you know what I'm saying? I try to do a little something. Try to do a little something, something. Yeah, I came to check on my mom just to see how she was doing, to say what's up. Been a long time subscriber, loving the content, man. I appreciate that, David. I really do. Appreciate that a whole lot. Speaking of David, I should go say what's up to my brother since he's here. I said, did you listen to my new single on the Seed Podcast? A podcast. It says, thanks for enjoying. I'm actually going to check it out. Reggie from Detroit. Blessings. I hope Mississippi takes down Bama today. Joseph, you're out of control, man. First of all, we lost last week. Bama's not going to lose two weeks in a row. So Mississippi State can just definitely chalk that up as an as a L today. <laughs> For sure, definitely for sure. Mm -mm. What's a good guitar for beginners that can buy uh, to grow with? Uh, I would say a Fender Strat. You could buy you a good Squire and you could grow with that as well. So I think a good Fender Squire would be good. Um, there are all types of stuff. Uh, you may be able to look up on something at a pawn shop sometimes. You never know. Uh, would love a guitar review series for us um, that can't afford it. To, to, I've already done that. I think I've done plenty of those. Um, and also, if you're a camper, I talk about how to go to a guitar center or whatever music store to look for a guitar. So if you're a camper, I do I do a whole walkthrough and I explain like where you should go, what you should look for, and what it is. And I've also done different reviews on here. I think I've done Donner guitars where I've talked about where you could go It'd be a great guitar that's not going to cost you a whole lot that you can grow with. You can change your pickup without. Okay, I have a question. What chords and chord progressions are you feeling these days? I've been getting into some Neo Soul and just fell in love with the minor nines. So if you go check out my Instagram, I have plenty of chord progressions. You can hear some of the stuff that I'm playing. Like They're always different because it's always ever-changing. So, But you know what, what it is. So I said, thank you very much. Mississippi will take down Alabama. Albert, you're, bro, you're in the clouds right now. <laughs> you're in the clouds right now. You're a high. This is not happening. Um, is there any new PRS that you have your eye on? I don't have my eye on any new PRS. I'm giving a, I'm doing a giveaway for my students um, for a PRS 
that we're doing it at the end of the year. But I personally don't have my eye on any PRS guitar right now. Unless it was something that they wanted to do a partnership where I get to build a model, like, you know, have a signature model. But I personally don't have my eye on any any PRS right now. Yeah, I feel that. I'll scoop out your IG. Sweet. Appreciate it. Hi from South Africa. What's up, man? Quentin, how you doing? What's the best finger exercise for beginners? All of my fingers want to move all at the same time. Alex, um, if you become a camper, man, I, I really talk about how to do specific exercise for your fingers. Really what it is is just the isolation exercise where you really physically look down at what you're doing. You have to pay attention and be like, I'm only going to focus in on using my index finger, my middle finger, um, my ring finger, and my pinky. So you can do ex dexter dexterity exercises that really isolate those particular exercises. But if you became a camper, I... I walk you through all of that. So check out carriescamp.com, K-E-R-R-Y-S-K-A-M-P.com, and you won't be glad. I mean, you won't be mad that you did because we have a lot of people that ask a lot of those same questions. So I have a lot of courses that really show you specifically how to do that to really get you to the place that you want to be at in your desire plane. Yes, sir. What's your advice for preparing for a tour? <clears throat> you want to find luggage that allows you to take as take the necessary things you need to take. Right? Don't don't overpack. Make sure you have stuff to do laundry. Um, get as much rest as you possibly can, and just enjoy document document the whole thing. You know what I mean? I show your videos with my grandchildren because they rather learn from you than learn from me <laughs> as long as they learn right definitely listen that, that's how it is i mean I, I try to teach my kids a lot of different things and they rather learn from other people so i get it trust me I, I totally get it i need your help you need my help to do what exactly i watch your videos every day i appreciate that definitely appreciate that If you're looking for help from me specifically, you should become a camper. They get priority over everybody. Um, Carriescamp.com, K-E-R-R-Y-S-K-A-M-P.com. If you don't understand, you should become a camper so I can help break that down for you. Carriescamp.com, K-E-R-R-Y-S-K-A-M-P.com. Go to the site right now, man. I would love for you to be a camper, man. So definitely do that. I would love for you to do that. Got any other questions? I'm, I'm here. I want to answer some questions. I, you're going to jump on here and ask me some stuff. Carrie, what do you do? What do you have coming up next? Uh, I'm going to Qatar at the end of the, the month to do a show in Qatar. And then um, what else? I have a couple spot dates here and there. And I appreciate what you do for the guitar community. Man, I appreciate that, Cameron. Yeah. Yeah, so Jessica, I um, have a show and performance in Qatar um, at the end of the month. I have a few spot dates um, after that. Coming from a contemporary worship to gospel 101, best way to transition uh the best way to transition if you're going from contemporary to gospel is realize that you're going to do a lot of work so your your application is going to be different how you approach songs are going to be different so just having a different understanding and awareness will kind of make the transition a little bit easier for you 
go to carriescamp.com, K-E-R-R-Y-S-K-A-M-P.com. I just want to say thank you for your lessons, man. They're helping me out a lot, man. You're more than welcome. Uh, recommendations uh, to listen for R&B Acoustic. Recommendations for R&B Acoustic. Uh, probably want to listen to some like 90s R&B, like some Jagged Edge, some John B. There's a lot of like our acoustic in those R&B songs. Uh, when are you going to be out with Let Us See? I don't play for Let Us See anymore. I stopped playing for Let Us See like three years ago. Yeah. Let Us See's on tour now. I don't, yeah, I don't play with Let Us See anymore. What's going on everybody hope you guys are doing well listen um if you're brand new to this channel do me a solid and subscribe and click the bell to be notified because i will be on here from time to time and then i'm going to start having more structured lives where i'm going to ask specific questions um just kind of like you know start the the conversation so um but if you're also curious and you've heard me talk about carrie's camp and you're just interested in like what is this thing whatever you should definitely go check it out go to carrie's camp.com k-e-r-r-y-s k-a-m-p.com uh, do you prefer playing acoustic or electric guitar and why? <sighs> That's a good question. Honestly, I probably prefer playing electric. I love playing acoustic, but I prefer if you ask my prefer preference, uh, because when I, when I play an electric guitar, I, I get to dig in, you know what I mean? And especially I love to solo. So like for me, when I get the chance to dig in and like play, you know, overdrives with delays, whatever, that's just a... I feel like that's me and my voice being able to sing. So I love that over playing an acoustic. Now I can play the hell out of an acoustic guitar because I love it and I'm passionate about the conversation and the story. But if you ask my preference, I would prefer an electric guitar. Let me know when you're in the Chicago area. We'll definitely do that, Albert. I'll let you know. I'm a beginner and I started following you playing um, on Becoming a Camper. Oh, I have plans on Becoming a Camper. I also, uh, Victoria Boyd, uh, she's amazing. Yeah, I know, I know who she is. Yeah, definitely. Um, I got a book of chords and I just don't get, if you become a camper, I have a video cord library that shows you not only can you see it, but you can hear it. So I got you. So just become a camper, bro. Like the link is our, somebody put the link in the, the, um, in the comments. So you should be great. Um, how would you compare a strat to a telecaster? A strat is more, in my, in my opinion, is more universal, um, uh, tones. You got five tones versus three tones. Um, the playability for me, I feel like Strat's a, little, a lot more play, player friendly um, than Tellys. Um, that's the, pretty much the overall difference aesthetically, what they look like, what they sound like, and what they what the capabilities can do. I can play guitar on my MPC, but not in real. I got you. It just takes time. Just bought my Fender, made in uh, Mexican Strat. Oh, that's what's up. Used it and it feels good, comfortable to play R&B. Sweet. Shell voicings um, enough to get through gospel in the beginning? Um, it can be. It just depends on what kind of gospel you're playing. It really just depends on that level of gospel. It all depends. Speaking of digging in more uh, players using... I use tens. I don't like nines. Nines are too slight and they break. So I'm, I'm definitely tens. Yeah. Come get that baby. Okay, I'll get it. I'm finishing doing my live real quick. Now. Come get it. Um, I'm a lefty playing guitar as a standard. Is it locked? Uh, well, we don't have to go right now. I'm, I'm, you can... Okay, I'm, I'm just, I'm ready. To... Okay. Uh, what's your take on the Fender Offset series? Um, for me, Fenders are, are cool guitars. They're just not consistently. So sometimes you may get something that's really good. Sometimes you may not get something that's really good. So it just depends on how it is you know like that's what i'm more concerned about like consistency of the is of the instrument it can look cool aesthetically but if it doesn't sound good or play well then i'm just like whatever where can i catch you the next in the next few months where can you catch me um 
I have a show in Birmingham on the 23rd. Then, like I said, after that, I'm going to Qatar at the end of the month. Then I think I'll be in Louisiana November 6th. Then after that, I'm not really sure where I'll be. Thank you for the helpful tips and how to solo on YouTube. Playing the melody of a song first and then playing some melodic lines to complement the melody. Yeah, for sure, definitely. After learning the seventh chord, uh, what would you recommend next learning uh, nines or 11 chords? Really, if you just become a camper, then like we could talk about specifically what are you trying to do? I have to hear you play because I don't know what's in your repertoire. You know what I mean? What's the best beginner guitar to start off with? I usually say like a Fender Squire because it doesn't cost a lot of money. I have two acoustic guitars. Should I also uh, start trying to practice on the electric guitar? No, nah, practice on what you have. November, November 6th, um, where I'm from Louisiana. Um, I'd love to check it out. Um, I think we're going to be in Lafayette. I'm playing with Corsette Michelle, so you can probably check and just see like where she's going to be at. That's who I'm playing with. Any gospel quartet recommendations? Yes, my good friend Kevin Wilson has a course um, that he just put out, that he just dropped. So if you're on Instagram, um, Kevin Wilson, look him up. If you're on Facebook, look up Kevin Wilson. He's got plenty of quartet stuff. Have you ever played um, Haitian music? No, I've never played it. No, I've never played. Okay, that's where I'm from. Oh, sweet. Yeah, so check it out. I mean, Chrisette Michelle, uh, I'm, we're supposed to be there November 6th. So we'd love for you to come to the show. We can hang out, you know, say, take a picture, or whatever the case is. It's cool. When you play anniversary in your video, I'm following you, but I don't get it. <laughs> you just have to dissect it, bro. I'm literally telling you exactly what I'm doing. So just take your time. Don't. It's okay. It's all right. Any great army guitars I can check out? <laughs> uh, would you discourage beginners from a Floyd Rose? Um, I mean, I personally wouldn't play one, but it's, it's personal preference. If that's what you can get, that's what you can get. I've been studying John B. Music right now. Any tips? The tip is to play the song. I mean, there's there's no other tip outside of that. It's just really you just got to lock in what the guitar player is playing and then play the song. It's really just a loop. A lot of his stuff is just a loop. I don't hear what you're doing. Why not the lock in Tremelo? Because it's just personal preference. I like... Uh, my Tremelo to float and now those don't float definitely want to hear you do a cover of come and talk to me one day <laughs> by Jodeci I play that song so live so much or whatever with a lot of different cover bands so I, I don't think that I would ever do a, a cover of it just because again I mean I, I'm I'm kind of burnt out on doing songs like that I'm gonna take a few more questions and then I gotta take my mom so somewhere. So one of the joys of coming to check on your, your parents. Oh, man, appreciate that. Appreciate that. Well, I love you guys, man. You guys do great. Again, if you're brand new to this channel, subscribe, click the bell to be notified. If you are inquisitive about Carrie's Camp, you should definitely go check it out. Carrie'sCamp.com. K-E-R-R-Y-S. K-A-M-P.com. You know what I'm saying? You'd be glad that you did. I thank everybody so much for their time and their energy. I love you guys so much, man. You guys take care. Have a great Saturday, and I will talk to you guys soon. All right.